Hey guys, getting ready for Marion Reef. So, mate, the tough one, what do we take? So um, we've got all the lures out, all the gear. I've been looking at it for the last week, thinking what do I take? We've got boxes of lures going through it all. So we want a good mix of um, soft plastics. We've got jigs, we've got uh, bodied lures, high-speed bibless, we've got jigs, poppers, stick baits. Um, yeah, and even some pusher marlin type lures so um, still got to go through it and narrow it down a bit um, these big four ounce jigs and the elevator jig heads they're good Berkeley gulps they're um, awesome so I've got some of them stick with your big big lures I've got a man's 50 here bought this one from the States off eBay they need bigger lures um, this one's a beauty and we've rigged that up with some wire and um, some couple of free hooks there with rubber bands so hopefully they'll break loose um, once they get hit by a big fish hopefully a big dog tooth hopefully um, your big mans I like the big mans we've got your rapalas um, some big river to seas there and uh, some x wrap 30 and 20s they're always a top lure to have um, I've got some nine inch Mac baits prototypes, these are brand new and um, big lures, like again trying for some big lures running owner split rings and owner single hooks so um, they're going to be awesome you can troll them at up to probably 10 knots or more so we'll probably troll them on the way out on behind the mothership and um, what else we've got, plenty of jigs so got different sizes, we've got your um, little your reedy sea bugs, they're pretty good for trout and things like that around the reef and your bigger knife jigs, so I'm hoping we can come across some dog tooth in the deeper water um, oh, some pushers, peculiar, peculiar lures they, they work well, always worth having them in a couple of Wilhelms and ones, these are fake belly hoe with a pusher head so that should be good poppers your old Halka rooster poppers, they've been around for donkey's years, probably one of the original poppers. Still work well. Um, just wash your hooks, um, but normally they're not bad out of the box. Um, so sometimes you might have to upgrade them, especially when you're running the heavier braid. I really like these Wilhelms and poppers. They've got, um, if you can see there, the bullet holes in the, in the head gives a wicked bubble trail from these poppers. So definitely we'll be using that one. Um, stick baits. Uh, your river to sea, I've got some good dumbbell, dumbbell poppers um, so we probably take some of them and your, your Rover 230 stick baits, they're good too for working across the top um, we've got some the old Billy Benito, that's a big lure, one of the biggest you can get and um, I've caught big fish on these before so I'll definitely be giving that one a run, it's been well, well used uh, what else we got even these, I haven't really used these before yet, but some Mahi Mahi teasers. Um, big like a massive soft plastic, but um, yeah, see how long they last before a wahoo or something comes through and cuts them up. Okay, so let us know what you think, what, you, um, what lures to bring, or if anyone's been to Marion before, give me a yell and give me a heads up, that'd be great. Running um, some Shimano, we've got Torso there, 16, we've got a Trinidad, 30, some Tough Tackle Reels, although they don't make them anymore. Talica 12, and I've even gone out and got a uh, Tiagra 30 wide as a special present for Christmas. Um, but yeah, that's an, we're going to run 80 pound mono on that and some good stand-up harness and try and get into some big uh, dog tooth, see how we go. Can't wait guys, so yeah, we're off a um, couple of days time, so this might be my last video for a couple of weeks, uh, nine days with normal fishing charters, it's going to be awesome.